Hi, welcome to the Blue Cloud Support Series. I'm Cameron, and today we're going to take a look at how to work with speed dials. First, we'll add a speed dial, then we'll edit the speed dial, and lastly, we'll take a look at this really cool feature that allows you to see if your coworkers are on the phone or not from your screen. So let's go over to the phone and check that out. Okay, first up, let's add the speed dial to our home screen. So if you have the speed dial buttons on the sides of your phones, you can just find an empty space. Uh, so here's an empty space next to one of the buttons. We're going to click and hold this empty button, and uh, it'll bring up the Add Contact screen. Now, if you're on a touchscreen telephone, you'll have to access the screen differently uh, by going to Home, Directories, Contact Directory, and then Add and then you'll be back at the same screen. Okay, now everyone together, uh, here you'll enter the first name of the contact, and really all you need is the first name and the contact information. Uh, so in order to do this, on the touch screen one, you'll be able to pull up a keyboard. On this one, we'll have to type old school T9. So in order to do that, if you need the C, it's on uh, number two, and, and it's a third letter. So you have to press that three times, and if you need an A, that's the first one, so we'll press it once. And you'll continue typing out the whole contact's name. If you make a mistake, you can use the back, the, these two little arrows that are going back, you can press that to go back. And you can keep typing in the name of the contact. Next up, you'll need to put in the contact details. So go down to contact. This is where you put in either the telephone number or your coworker's extension number. So it can work for outside callers and for, for coworkers that are within your business. So in this case, I'm just going to put in my coworker's extension, which is, uh, let's say it's one, two, three. So we've got that input, and we don't need anything else. We can finish the contact here by clicking the Save button. And so we're going to go back to the home page by clicking the Back button, going all the way back. And now you can see our new contact is on the home screen. Great. Now, if you want to edit this contact, uh, if you have the speed dial buttons, you can just hold the speed dial key next to this contact. So we'll just hold that. And so if we want to edit it, we'll just click on the Edit button. On touchscreen phones, uh, you'll have to go again through the same way we went through first, Home, Directories, Contact Directory. And then once you see the, uh, the contact, you can click on, click on the contact itself and then click the Edit button. And that'll take us to the same spot. Uh, so if you need to change their extension, you can do that and then you can click Save. And we'll go back to the home screen. And so there's our speed dial. And now if we want to call this person, all we do is we just press the speed dial key. OK. Now, we also have this really cool feature that allows you, as mentioned, to see your coworker's presence, to see if they're on the phone or off the phone. And uh, in order to do that, it requires that your coworker is in your Blue Cloud account. And so this doesn't work for external telephone numbers. It only works for uh, extensions in your account. And what you can do is you can hold down on the speed dial key to edit. And we're going to edit this contact. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom to where it says Watch Buddy. So it says Watch Buddy. Right now it's disabled. We're going to click on the OK button, change it to Enabled, and then we'll click Save. And we're going to go back to the main screen now. And so now you'll see it actually has a circle over here now. And so when our coworker is online and available to receive a call, you'll see it's green. And it'll turn red if they're on the phone. Sometimes it'll turn clear, just nothing in it. It might be pulling the system to see if they're available. That's it for today. If you have any other questions, as always, please reach out to us at support at BlueCloudUSA dot com and we'd be happy to help. Have a wonderful day.